There isn't much of a writer's room on Doctor Who because I think what's important about Doctor Who is that each show feels different. I, d I don't really want it to feel corporate and the same every week. I want each different writer's version of Doctor Who. And I was, what I always say to them is, treat it like you own it. It's the only way you can do Doctor Who, to do direct Doctor Who or to write Doctor Who or to play the parts in Doctor Who. Treat it like it's yours. Don't revere it. Own it. And the ones who succeed do that. They do their own version. A writer's room would play against that. So I don't want them to impersonate me. I don't want them to impersonate what they think Doctor Who is. I want them to go in and say, damn it, it's my show this week. So we don't have a writer's room, uh, but the writers often meet up just casually or socially, and I, I, I work with each of them uh, in succession. Um, and obviously, Mark Gatiss is more or less in and out my house all the time. Uh, <laughs> she wanted to know why you are leaving. Ah. Uh, well. <laughs> I love the easy Look questions. Look what you've done. <laughs> Look what you've done to that girl. And she wanted to let you know that you were her favorite doctor. Oh, thanks, Sydney. Thanks, dude. Well, what we'll do is, well, let's have a picture afterwards. Should we do that, Sydney? Yeah, let's do that. And um, it's hard to leave. It's an awful thing to contemplate. It really is. And, you know, it's been the most, just the most incredible experience. And things like this and comic it's just, it's changed my life. And uh, it's really depressing. But um, <laughs> you've got to, I don't know. I think you've got to go when you've got to go. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I've made a mistake. <laughs> Yeah, and Sydney can't even look at you with that hair. I know. Right. <laughs> when she turns 16, she's going to say, I should have looked at him more. <laughs> um, we just wound down the window in the car because we <laughs> saw like a Clara and a doctor. And we we're like, hey, doctor, what's up, man? He was like, yeah. <laughs> and then we drove off and the Clara tapped him on the shoulder and was like, <laughs> and he was like, It's everywhere. Mm. Yeah. I think, and just the different, the amounts of different people, the different ages, and everybody who has a story about it. I was in Heathrow Airport on the way over here, and there was two people sat in front of me, like there, and they had no idea that I was sat there, and they were making TARDISes. Yeah. They were literally, the two, they had these, these cardboard cutouts, and they were making TARDISes and having a conversation and comparing the TARDISes. And I sat there for about 15 minutes and watched them both. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> you yeah. know, it's just all these, things all of the time and also the sets just going on set every day and you're in a completely different world week to week yeah and traveling together and it's like sort of the closest we'll ever be to being in a band <laughs> do you know what i mean like and and um yeah and the fans are sort of like just extraordinary i mean it's everywhere you go in the world there's someone who sort of watches doctor who and that's was quite surprising <laughs>